Kia ora, my name's Josh Jr and I'm a sailor at Emirates Team New Zealand. And I'm Elise and I'm a designer at Emirates Team New Zealand. Today we're going to give you some insight into how we go about designing and testing new technologies. We've both been involved in the America's Cup for a few years now. The America's Cup is much a design race as it is a sailing race. And we spend a lot of time designing and testing to build the fastest sailing boat possible. We eventually find out if we've done a good job at that when we come up and race the best of the other teams trying to win the America's Cup. We use the technology development process to come up with the design that we build. We start with the set of rules which describe what we can and can't design and then come up with some ideas before having a go at designing what the boat might look like. We eventually build the boat and the sailors go out and try it. We collect lots of data on how the boat is going and the sailors also give us lots of feedback on how the boat feels. We do this over and over again, making small changes and then testing whether they work until we arrive at what we think is the best possible design approach. Sometimes we come up with radical ideas that haven't been done before. A couple of examples of this are when we started to get the boat to sail on foils, or also when we introduced cyclers or grinders on bikes. We thought foiling could work when we started exploring the idea, but it took lots and lots of testing before we developed a system that worked really well. It was the same thing with the sight claws. We spent lots of time in the design room and in wind tunnels working out how the concept would work before we used it to successfully win the America's Cup in Bermuda 2017. The New Zealanders paddling into the history books. One of the most important things in the technology development process is that no idea is stupid. Another important thing is to remember that you learn a lot from the testing process and that it doesn't matter if it doesn't work out how you wanted it to on the first attempt. In fact, you'll often learn more from the times when things don't work out straight away. Keep trying until you land on something that works. We're excited to know that your class is getting involved in Kōkō Kaha. We hope you enjoy the hands-on activities and they help you understand more about how the wind works and how you can harness the power of the wind. Climate change is very real and we need to act fast to try and turn it around. We're really excited to see the ideas you come up with and the technologies you use to harness the power of the wind.